Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya sha'ala. Ko loy ma ya hawa bashi ma wa shai ba hashim kha ha kodash. The honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who do rule well that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachana Nawa is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, this is TMZ. It says Bahamas Nightmare video shows chaos after teen jumps from cruise. Search called off. So, man. Anyway, I'm not going to play the video, you know what I'm saying, because of, of the, you know, YouTube's guidelines, so to speak. But you can, you know, look into this story if you want to. Hey, he dived his ass off that boat and they ain't find him. It says, multi-day search for Louisiana teen who jumped from a sunset cruise in the Bahamas has come to its tragic end. And the last known sighting of him was caught on a harrowing video. Footage has surfaced showing 18-year-old Cameron Robbins who just graduated high school in Baton Rouge, swimming in the open seas at night near Athol Island last week, where he was on a sunset cruise with a bunch of his peers, celebrating their achievement. Word is, Cameron went overboard on his own accord. And not just that, but apparently it was on a dare. In the clip, you can kind of tell his buddies were getting a kick out of it. That is until he vanished behind the boat and out of view of everyone, who began screaming at him to grab a life preserver that had been thrown to him, which was pretty far away, and he didn't end up reaching it. Once he disappeared, everyone began to panic. Now, where the fuck would you jump off a cruise boat? And, and, come on, bro. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. You can't do that but kind of laugh at some of this shit, man. You know, the, the scripture says the Lord will laugh at your calamity. Man, come on, bro. This is just retarded and stupid as all hell. You just graduated high school. Obviously, you didn't learn a goddamn thing because that, that was stupid as hell. Dumb. It says since he went missing, a multi-day search was undertaken by both Bahama, Bahamian authorities and the U.S. Coast Guard. But Robbins was never found. And the search has now been called off after several unsuccessful days of scouring the area for any sign of him. It sounds like Cameron is presumed dead as the Coast Guard issued a statement saying, we offer our sincere condolences to Cameron Robbins' family and friends. His family flew into Bahamas last week, and prayer vigils have been held for him for a few days now. Incredible, bro. His, fam <laughs> His family has also spoken out. Okay, but anyway, you get the point, right? Let me just grab a couple of scriptures. Now, this scripture came to mind when I first seen it. Matthew 4 and 7. Yahweh I said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. See? And, and, and people do it all the time, man. But you know what? This scripture also came to mind, too. Let me get this one. This is how I'm figuring this might be an Edomite. Not sure. He could be an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not about a skin color thing. But this might be a damn Edomite, man. Because that's really fucking stupid. But let, let's see. Because cause first off, Jake is not going to... They ain't fucking up their outfit. Jake not jumping out there. Fucking... They might have... You know, Jake not messing up the Jordans. They not messing up the sneakers. They not messing up the outfit, man, to jump off in the water. And Jake is not, you know, about that type of shit anyway. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's some Jake out here that can swim, you know. But Jake not really dealing with them waters like that, man. But let's see here. Uh, this is Genesis 25 and 27. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. See? Esau, the so-called white man, that motherfucker will jump out of planes. He will he will um, bungee jump. He will climb Mount Everest in the worst of weathers. He will swim with sharks. He will surf with sharks. He will, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker going to space. <laughs> He's going all under the waters. This man is not a plain man, man. When it straight comes down to Esau, Esau, it, them motherfuckers will jump ramps on motorcycles. They will do the X Games. You name it. Jake not too big on stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. Jake will get involved because we've been in captivity for so long. And our people envy the oppressor. That, that's why that scripture says, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You know, and um, I think that's Proverbs 3 and 31. I think that is. Let's see here. But anyway, no, nah, man, hey, it's not wise to follow him behind Esau, man, and doing the shit that he does, man, because this guy, he, 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 he <laughs> his frame of mind. It's not 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 set, man.
Proverbs 3 and yep, 31, it says, Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. See, we're not to envy Esau, eat him in the way that he gets down. But see, our people, they go and try some of this shit that Esau be doing and be getting fucked up. <laughs> Straight up, man. You can, hey, I mean, let me see. Uh, what's the scripture? Uh, what is that? Is it Proverbs chapter 1? Let's see. I think it's Proverbs chapter 1 where it says the Lord will laugh at your calamity, man. <laughs> Let me start at verse 10 right here. Proverbs 1 and 10. My son, if <laughs> Salak you for the laughing, man. It's just that shit is so goddamn silly. You can't do no but laugh. It says, My <laughs> my son, if sin <laughs> my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us lurk privately privately for the innocent without cause, let us swallow them up alive as a grave. But well, the point was, you know, my son, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not, basically. If somebody, his friends is sitting there just, ah, oh, I dare you, I dare you. Come on, man. You ain't got sense enough to say, man, I'm not jumping off this goddamn boat. What the fuck? I mean, how was he, how was he expecting to get back on it? <laughs> my goodness, man. Let me see, though. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me start at verse 25. It says, but, <laughs> but, uh, but ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when thy fear, when your fear cometh. And you know that God has some fear. You know, when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as, as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. And let me tell you, man, that's a, that's a scary ass situation, man, being in water like that. I remember when I learned how to swim, when I when I when I learned how to swim, it was a situation where I didn't know how to swim at first. And we was at a creek and it's like a it was like an underwater whirlwind, you know, so to speak. You know, the, the water was swirling underneath the water and I didn't you know, I, I had no idea. I was on one of those um, one of those um, inner tubes and that shit wrapped around my feet and that swirl. It whirled around my feet and it just took me away. And all my people, you know, my, you know, my family was looking like and they were screaming. And I can't think how old I was. I don't know, maybe 12. I don't know how old I was. Anyway, that shit took me down the creek and I was passing people because it was certain areas that you could get to the creek at. You know, it was like through a wooded path. You know, you had, you know, certain places where you can drive through the, the woods in all types of locations throughout the city. You know, going into the next city, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a long running creek. And I kept passing people. And, and then I ended up seeing this guy. This guy, he seen me. And, and I'm going to tell you, this, <laughs> this was back. I had to have been in like seventh grade, I think, maybe. Because I can remember the guy that jumped out there and saved me. His name was Randy Riley. I'll never forget that brother, man. I think he might have. I don't think. I'm not sure if he's still alive or not. But anyway, he asked me if I needed help. And he jumped out there and he came and got me. Because he was so big and the reason why he was so much bigger than me, we went to school together, but that was before the um, No Child Left Behind came in. You know what I'm saying? So when I was going to school and I was in seventh grade, it was people in seventh grade that was like 17, 18 years old. Literally, because if you flunk, you had to stay in that fucking grade. It wasn't. And then they started to realize that, you know, parents started to complain that, you know, those older boys, so to speak, or they, hell, they was fucking men. They was, you know, in the seventh grade dealing with their daughters, you know, so they was like, uh uh, man, y'all got to go ahead and graduate these motherfuckers, man. Just give them a, a diploma. They never even made it to high school. They just gave them a diploma right out of seventh grade man, <laughs> and told them to, you know, have a good life. And that's that's how, you know, that guy, he was in seventh grade with me, but he was like, I, I, I think seventh grade, you're like around 12, 13 years old, but he was already like 17, 18, 19 or some shit. But he was a huge dude, man. He jumped out there. And he, um, you know, he pulled me in and then that following um, week, that's when I went to the, you know, the, the local pool and, um, you know, took swimming lessons and learned how to swim. But man, when I tell you I was scared as shit, that's a scary situation, man, being in water like that. That's scary. I can imagine how the people must have felt, man, being in that flood with Noah. See, and we're in the last days, man, because, uh, you know, people are starting to, you know, they're just doing a lot of silly shit, man. And it's all for likes. You know, subscribers and all this different shit, you know, people doing just doing the silliest shit, man. Like, how you jumping off a, a, a cruise, bro? How you expecting to get back on the boat? 
I'm trying to think like, you know, it didn't say, you know, was they drinking? You know, was you on, was you fucking high? You know? But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that, man. Um, but hey, Esau is 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 a, a, a cunning hunter. And he's a man of that feel. He's out here doing all types of shit that regular people don't do. You know, I wouldn't say regular people, but I mean, uh, generally, ordinary people don't do the shit that um, the so-called white man does, man. I'm telling you, this motherfucker man will do the shit he, he's into is just weird, man. Jake not into that, man. So that's why I'm saying this guy might be a damn Edomite. But with that, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.